morning YouTube family, it is your boy Carboholics and we're back again with another YouTube video man. Today we are at a new donut shop, if you can see right behind me, we're at the Donut Man. And we're at the Donut Man's first location which is off of Route 66. Now they do have a new location that's closer to us which is in Los Angeles and that is a new location for them but they do open a little bit later. And if you guys know us already, we like our donuts early in the morning, as early as we can get them. So we are right here and we know how we gotta get started. Started. I got their original glaze baby and right off the top I already like how the that looks beautiful. Look at how it just crinkles up here the glazing on it. I mean it looks so beautiful. Now let's see how it tastes. Huh? Wow. It's a bit doughy. Not as airy as I would like but it is kind of cold. So I don't know if that has to do with because it's cold but it's got really good flavor and then it's not chewy. It's a good texture of the dough. So I'm gonna move on to their buttermilk glaze bar. And let's see how this one is. Mm, it's delicious. Wow. So I like that it does have that crisp powder layer. Nice and super soft, guys. It's like, like soft and like so spongy. It is crazy. It's like, it's different than most of the buttermilk bars that I've had so far. Like this is like just, the texture is so crazy. That is yummy. So I can't wait. I mean, they both stack up really good. It has its own flavor. This one is a bit more eggy and buttery than the rest of the buttermilks that I've had. It's so crazy. So I can't wait to show you guys our order back home. I'll see you guys when we get there. Peace. And we're back with more donuts. finally back home and unfortunately guys V completely messed up this whole day today <laughs> I, just, I just like we forgot the strawberry donuts guys the strawberry right. stuffed ones and I did place an order for them we didn't check the actually I actually counted the box before the donuts in the box before we got here and you know my mind I don't know where it was I was so amazed by a couple of other donuts that I didn't even think I don't know what I was thinking guys. I didn't even realize that we were missing the strawberry ones that we actually went for. But anyways, oh, this is a call from the owner actually. Give me a minute. Anyways guys, so I just got a call from the manager there. His name is Mike. Shout out to you, Mike, man. That guy is a really nice guy there. And this is the Donut Man off of Route 66, which is their main location. They called the new Donut Man that opened up in LA Central Market. And I'm able to pick two up from there. So make sure you guys stay posted for the rest of this video. Because those two donuts, their special donuts are coming right up. But we did get two. Talk. Yeah, we did get two other donuts. No, a little bit more talking. Hold on. Slow you over woman so we did we did get another I two special eat. donuts from them and this is one of them which is their apple fritter i already warmed it up guys because you guys already know i like it nice and warm this is a huge apple fritter guys and right off the bat it's nice and hard from the outside if you can hear this it even look at that i mean you could hear that cracking Ooh. as i break it apart and i'm so amazed by this apple fritter guys because it actually has walnuts, which is the second one with walnuts, apple pieces, and raisins, guys. Ooh, so I love raisins. it's nice and warm. Here's your part. Here's mine. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to Donut Man. Wow. Mm hmm. Go. Guys, it's so crunchy. It's a 10 out of 10 on their apple fritter for sure. Good job. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm gonna ask for words right now. How about you? Me? What'd you think about it? I love it. It's nice and crunchy. It's even 
soft. Right, like spongy and the inside. Oh, weird. I think this one's like the Randy's. Soft. Like spongy. But a little bit better, I would think. I would need to taste them back to back. But I do think Randy's had a bit more oil on the bottom. And this one doesn't have that. I mean, look at the inside on this, guys. And the outside. Wow. Oh. And I'm not usually into spongy thick fritters. But this one has such a nice crisp outer layer that the inside is a nice like spongy kind of donut pillowy type of, I don't know, goodness that I don't even, I don't know. It's just, wow, I'm lost. <laughs> I just don't think that this one had walnuts like you said. No? Huh? No. I has raisins. It's still really good though. Oh, I don't know, guys. Yeah, raisins. So it's not walnuts, guys. It's actual apple pieces on the top. No okay. Raisins. No apple pieces. The white ones. Hmm. It's got actual apple pieces, and I thought they were rate. They were raisins. They were walnuts. But it's an a deep fried apple piece. But they're apple pieces, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wow, still a really top apple fritter. Oh, amazing. It's everything that you expect in an apple fritter with that extra crisp outer layer. A weirdly spongy inside just because I've never had an apple fritter that's spongy inside. Sometimes, yeah, they're thick. But this is a weird type of inside. Like the breading is, is different. Huh. It's like soft. Fluffy. Yeah, like fluffy, but because we had a fluffy one that we didn't like. That we said we don't like the apple fritters fluffy like this, like regular donuts. But I think it was because the out and I think it was the donut frame one. And I think it was because mm -hmm. the outside wasn't wasn't crisp and this one has a nice thick crisp outer layer and I think that's what's helping you know helping it out so we're moving on to their apple stuffed donut which is a regular glazed donut sliced in half yeasted donut and stuffed with apple filling wow this looks good now you guys know that I love my apple filling donuts V eh, has a love and hate relationship for them not so much but this one see how it smells Smells pretty good. Cheers. Let's see how this one goes, guys. I'm gonna start with the apple side. Mmm. Let me taste it with the apple fritter. <laughs> wow. Their apple filling is like apple sauce with apple pieces, and their donut is so soft, guys. Wow. You know what I think? Hmm. Is that I like it like this. Sometimes with an apple pie or wow. something, it has way too much cinnamon. Cinnamon and apple. <laughs> Not so much for me. But this one has like even a light, you know, coated. Um, yeah, guys. What she's saying is the cinnamon. Yeah, so cinnamon. usually that apple filling, it's usually mixed with either cinnamon brown sugar or just cinnamon in general. So it makes that filling look like a brownish kind of thicker and it's less slimier when that happens. This one is more like, like if you had a spoonful of applesauce, stuck it in there and just put a lot of little apple pieces in there, which gives it this phenomenal, phenomenal apple filling flavor. And their donut, it's not like a like a thick dough donut, like the glazed donut that we had over there when I explained it to you guys. It was a bit doughy, which I was kind of skeptical going into this one because it's a thick part at the bottom from where they slice the donut in half. But it's not doughy, it's nice and soft. 
and, and a bit airy as well. Not super airy, but it just, it does dissolve. It's not like a thick dough, huh? Mm -hmm. It's so good. So I'm gonna warm up the next donut, so I'll be right, right back with you guys. We'll be right back. Wow. We're back, guys. All right, guys. So, <laughs> just kidding. Unfortunately, I freaking started without recording. Dang, you slow your roll. So, look at how big this is. I mean, V gave it a bite already, but look at this. I it looks I amazing. Told I told you. Glazed tiger tail, guys. I was already like more than halfway into mine. I think I even forgot to show you guys the time. <laughs> 8.14, August 29th, we probably started like at 8.10, I mean guys, the whole strawberry thing just threw me the hell off, I shaked it off properly, forgot the time, and to turn it on right now, just with the beginning of the tiger tail, but first bite, it was phenomenal, and we're gonna continue to move through this, <laughs> V was trying to bite it, I know. <laughs> I feel kind of weird biting that thing, guys. <laughs> Look at I fold in mine. <laughs> it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what happened to the glaze. It's like coming off or something. I think that it could be an older. Tell us what you think. An older tiger tail, guys. Just because the glaze does look kind of out of it, like it's not even on the donut, kind of. I don't know if you could tell. Like if it's been sitting for a while, and they do only bake twice ah. at this location. They're open 24 hours, <laughs> and they only bake twice, and they were completely out of tiger tail. So I'm guessing this was from like the baking that went on last night, or whenever their last time they baked was from, and they just put it for our order because they knew they were gonna sell out. I mean, they did tell me when, told me when I called that they only bake twice and they do tend to sell out from their apple fritters and their tiger tails. And surely, guys, we got there and it was like, what time, like six something, it's 6 a.m. And they were completely out of those. So I'm not mad at them. I'm mad at you. The it's donut pretty man. Good. The donut man. <laughs> You're the donut man. <laughs> I had to go personally and let Jim know that there's only room for one donut man in this world, and that's me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's actually really good, guys. Like, you guys know I'm not into tiger tails that much, but as far as this tiger tail goes. I am getting a lot of that flavor from the cinnamon, um, what is that? That glazing that they use on the cinnamon rolls, that brown glazing that the tiger tails have, it does have a lot of that in here. Like it's just rolled like the regular ones, but for some reason, I actually get that flavor and it's nice and soft. I could already imagine how it'll be if you get a fresh one. Like I left you this one, cause look at how this one has it. I know. That bite right there, guys, that's gonna be money. I'm in. I see if money starts falling right now. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, nice and sweet. No. <laughs> no? Oh, man. No. All right. It was great, though. That was pretty good. Like I said, I'm not really into tiger sales, but this one was one of the best ones I've tasted so far. And it was kind of an old one. So that's saying something. So I'm gonna warm up the next one and I'll be right back with you guys. We'll be right back. Don't change the channel. Ah, and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to keep my finger. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna move it on to their orange glazed cake now we tried an orange glazed cake from where from donut, donut hut. hut and we were gonna get primos oh. which we didn't no i think we didn't we didn't at primos so it was from donut hut yeah the orange zest that oh, you said yeah, yeah, yeah. Taste. so and it was pretty good so they had an orange an orange glazed cake here 
So we're gonna try that out, guys. Let's see how it nice. goes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> mm. It's nice and soft, really moist, and it tastes like straight orange zest. Like a strong. This yeah, that's... was stronger than. Donut. This one is actually a good orange zest tasting cake donut, and their cakes are like, like she said, nice, soft, moist. It doesn't have that and crisp smart. outside, but uh, yeah, they they are tiny. But it was really good. Although this one is a bit more orangey on the orangey sweeter side mm -hmm. than the one we tasted at Donut Hut, which Donut Hut was a bit more fresh, more zesty. Still it's both it great lighter. orange donuts. Now let's try their cherry cake on a vanilla cake donut as well. I should have showed you the whole donut, but you guys know what a whole donut looks like. Cheers. 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 This one with money. Wow. I love this one. I love it, guys. For some reason, the cherry glazing, if I haven't tasted a strawberry one, it always tastes to me like a strawberry glaze with extra flavor. Now, I get it. It has that slight different taste. But like I said, if I haven't had any strawberry ones, I kind of just taste a strawberry glazed donut with extra flavor in it. Mm -hmm. But then again, everybody tastes things differently. Now we're gonna move on to their vanilla everybody cake buy. donut with vanilla glaze and sprinkles. Look at how beautiful this cake donut looks. It's like so full of sprinkles. If you're into sprinkles, this is your cake donut. Oh, full of flavor. Yeah, full of freaking flavors. I'll get that one. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I think that that vanilla glazing mixed with the sprinkles really brings out that flavor in the vanilla cake donut. I think we should try this one first. Really good. <laughs> the hard one was strong, huh? Freaking strong. Now we're moving on to a maple glaze on a cake donut. Which guys, we normally don't get maple glazed unless it has bacon on it. But um, they didn't have any with bacon. So this is gonna have to do for today. Cheers. And let's see guys, usually the maple is super strong on, on donut places. Why do I get the big one? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, we should have had this one and the sprinkle one first. This maple one, actually guys, the maple glaze had the perfect amount of sweetness that I would want on a maple glaze donut. They're, this is a cake, right? Yeah. They're really they're good. They're really soft though. They're really soft. Yeah. yeah, they're really soft guys, like really moist. It's crazy. So the maple glazing on this one wasn't as strong as usual. It was actual, actually like which a really good. mellow maple taste, which is good because sometimes it's just they overdo it yeah. in these places, but I mean it's personal preference. So I'm gonna warm up the next batch and be right back with you guys. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. And we're back, baby, with some <laughs> massive donuts. All right, guys. <laughs> so these are the ones that actually caught my attention when we got there, and these are the ones where I forgot the damn strawberry ones from. So this is the blueberry <gasps> cheesecake donut. I mean, look at how beautiful this topping looks. Hopefully it doesn't fall because I warmed it up. And it's on a glazed yeasted donut, you guys. Say me? This beauty. <laughs> this looks so <laughs> good. I'ma cut it in half, and it's phenomenal. Ooh, that looks so good. Which side do you want? This one. That one? Then you wanna get the one? Cheers. Cheers. Let's see how this is. Oh, Cheers how's to most life. Good. Cheers to these donuts. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? 
They're the mm. ones that caught my attention the, the most. And I'm not into these donuts, guys. So I'm not even gonna do that one. So what the, is the that? topping is actually cream cheese. Oh. Right? I'm gonna tell you that. It's like a real strong cream cheese flavor. If you guys are into cream cheese, I don't think it's, it's cheesecake. Like it's like it's what cream they cheese, have. Huh? No, cheesecake has that. Some of them. They have it on the top. That's what it is. Yeah. I think that's it's cream why, cheese. That's why I it thought has like it like a like cream cheese, sour cream kind of flavor, huh? Cream cheese kind of cheesecake flavor, kind of cream cheese cheesecake. Not, I don't yeah, like that in a donut, guys. <laughs> I mean, what did you say? <laughs> I don't like that in a donut, guys. Wow, this is. So I'm gonna warm up the next batch, and I'll be right back we'll to you be guys. Right back. <laughs> guys, we're some better donuts. All right, guys. So cream cheese donuts, duly noted in my book. Definitely not the donut for me. Anything Take cream cheese on the top. Take I mean, off. I thought that was whipped cream when I saw the picture, but it's cream cheese or cheesecake filling, like something. But I, I didn't like it on the donut. I mean, it I'm pretty nice. sure there's some of you that, that do. And, you know, to tell you, it's on a real soft glazed yeasted donut. And the filling, the blueberry filling was good. really good by itself. So it will be a perfect donut for you guys. So now we're moving on to a ring donut. Which one do you want to do? Three, two, one, go. Chocolate. Chocolate ring donut. And this is the only one that got squished, guys. On the right over here, the box fell over in my car, and yeah. Yeah, you're driving like that's, a maniac. That's how. That's what it is. That's how our day has started, guys. I mean, can't even tell you. It's been a day. <laughs> it's been a day, and it's early too. But we've been up for quite some time already. That's it. Is. It's that like an it's like an hour drive from here, guys. V's <laughs> over there just chilling in the sea, like nothing's going on, just complaining about everything, <laughs> and life is good. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Really, really soft compared to the glaze. All right, guys. This is the traditional chocolate glazing that they use on every donut shop. You usually don't like no. them. Yeah. Well, I don't know, but this one's extra soft. I really don't dig it. Like, I don't love it. But this one's still bearable. Like, to eat me. Yeah, guys. We love chocolate. I mean, as you can see, we get a lot of chocolate donuts. And our favorite one is a Reese's chocolate one. But for some reason, the regular chocolate glazed yeasted donuts are not that, that great for us. Like, they're good, but we normally don't really go for them. And guys, if you guys are looking for a great tasting glazed chocolate donut, go to Kettle Glaze. Yeah, Kettle Glaze. The kettle chocolate glaze glazing is, is where it's at, guys. So. Here's our next donut, which is just a regular yeasted sugar donut. And we don't usually go for regular sugar donuts, if you guys haven't noticed, but this one caught our attention. It just looks so delicious, guys. And their dough in there smells so good, like traditional donut shops. It's just amazing. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a traditional sugar donut. Which is really weird because that know. chocolate donut was really, really extra soft. And this one's more and doughy, this one's huh? more doughy. Yeah, that's crazy. More like a sponge. Yeah. Maybe it was sitting out there longer because it was their last sugar donut that was left. It was oh, yeah. their last one there. But, still pretty good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so last ring donut, guys. Cinnamon crumb. I hope this one is soft because the cinnamon crumbs on there on the top looks so amazing. And guys, they smell even better than they look. And it has like, I think brown sugar on it, huh? Or just sugar and the cinnamon crumbs. <laughs> Cheers. Damn, this one looks massive. <laughs> this one's puffed up guys look at this check this out super puffy super thick <sighs> getting full guys oh it did what it tastes like cinnamon yeah and it has so much of that cinnamon crumb on the top oh no but it's not overwhelmingly cinnamony like yeah. the one from donut friend Donut friend is like a super Saigon cinnamon explosion in your mouth, guys. 
This one is good because it's got that like more of a sugary kind of taste. More towards a brown sugar, I think. It's pretty good. Yeah. You finish your milk? Mm. <laughs> one whole carton, guys, of almond milk gone. Is what happens with all these donuts. <laughs> It's crazy, you know, because sometimes just the donut amount is a lot for some people. Now imagine finishing that carton of almond milk. We get one for every donut sit down that we have, and usually V ends up drinking it all. <laughs> I finished it all, guys, but what can I say? Your boy is hungry. Anyways, we are completely done with the donut section of this video. It is 8.37. So... We will be back for these last three, well, this regular cruller, a triple chocolate devil's food cake and a vanilla chocolate glaze with coconut. We might give this apple fritter away. We might not, it's like so massive. We didn't know they were big. And we actually ate the biggest one. I mean, guys, look at, compare it to the, to the almond milk carton. And, and the one we ate was bigger than this one. So, I mean, it was almost as big as that damn almond milk carton. So we'll be right back with you guys. We're actually stay tuned because we are gonna go pick up those other strawberry donuts, which was the whole main point of this damn donut shop. But anyway, the rest of the donut selection was pretty good. Their dough was amazing. Their apple fritters were top notch for me. That was my favorite donut from them actually, the apple fritter. And then I'll give you my favorite donuts after we taste those strawberry ones because we still don't know how those would taste. So. Thank you so much if you we'll guys have made it so far, but stay tuned and we'll be right back with you guys. Peace. So we are back and look at this beauty that we have here. I mean, it's completely falling apart. So we are going to eat it right now like this. I didn't warm this one up. The Donut Man's famous strawberry stuffed donut. We're Cheers. Not warm this one up? I'm not. Cheers. Wow. Mmm, guys, this tastes like a funnel cake to me. All it's missing is the powdered sugar, guys. And it tastes exactly like a funnel cake. What about you? Babe? It's good, but I don't like it how it's so soggy. Well, because we ate it. So it does come with jelly, guys? They mix the strawberries in like some strawberry jelly and since it's a glazed donut if you let it sit for a while it will get nice and soggy. We did let it sit for about like two hours from where we got them. We went to Central Market their new grand opening um, place. We bought it there. We had an IPA out there and then we drove out here which was like another 30 minutes and we were probably downstairs for like another 40 minutes or so. That's why it got soggy but it's definitely really great. I definitely would go back for another one. Hmm? It's good, but for me, it's not all that. Yeah? It was delicious to me. Like I told you guys, exactly like a strawberry funnel cake. If you guys would put some powdered sugar on there, boom, you got yourself a funnel cake. The yeasted donut itself, has that funnel cake taste obviously not the crunch because the donut is nice and soft it's perfect and then they're glazed like it was from earlier it's, it's really sweet and good and their strawberries with that jelly it really tastes really good so it just blends in perfectly and it's nice and fresh as you know i didn't even warm it up so that's it for right now guys we just wanted to show you this donut. We are going to come back for a second meal and the rest of those donuts that we left. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Peace. Hey guys, so we are back with the second video. Oh no, second meal for today as a second video. I'm a little a bit video. buzzed because I was drinking a couple of IPAs before this. Like I said, if you guys are following us on our Instagram, you guys will see what I was drinking. I'll link my account down here secret. and her account down here. So we did end up going, oh look, she didn't even put salsa on this one. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah. So we did end up going to a Mexican spot, guys, that is right by our house. It's you know, good. support small businesses. This is called Rincon Taurino. And what we do have in here 
is um, a couple of large horchatas, which is a real good tasting like rice pudding like water, right? Like milky rice pudding, it's so good guys, it's delicious. delicious. I actually was having some before all this. And we got ourselves, let me show you what we're working with first. So first thing in the menu is gonna be a carne asada taco for each with everything which got carne asada, which is steak, and it's got onion, cilantro, and green salsa. And I got the same thing, but with red salsa. Oh yeah. <laughs> See that? She Eat likes that. the red salsa, guys, and I like the green one better. I like both, but the green one is my top, and for her, she likes both, but the red one is her top. So cheers. Cheers. See how this? Let's oh, I want lemon. some lemon. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. First of all, lemon. Oh, first, lemon. Fresh. Lemon. Oh, yeah. Now, guys. Some lemon. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Guys, I love cilantro. Hey guys, usually what I do when I go to this taco spot, I usually remove the extra tortilla. Because it's good and all, it's cheat day and all, but oh. I like the taste of the meat better than the tortilla. So that extra part, I could do without. You know what we should have added? Sour cream. Mm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm. That's from my secret menu, my secret <laughs> recipe, girl. You can't be giving that out. Mm -hmm. That takes time. You gotta do it like this. If you guys drop 200 likes on this video, I'll give you a little secret touch to these tacos. No, but in, in all <laughs> seriousness, guys, I usually add sour cream to my carne asada tacos. They are like 10 times more delicious. If you guys haven't tried that delicious. on your cheat day, make sure you guys do. It is good. Check now, that out. we're gonna move on to the torta, guys. We actually got a carne asada torta, which comes with avocado, red onions, beans, steak, carne asada, and I think that's it. Oh, and I, I said avocado and sour cream. I mean, guys, this is like super packed with the deliciousness it's so good cheers yeah, actually skimmed out on the sour cream and the bread actually smells good i like my salsa <laughs> mm. wow lemon Ooh, yeah lemon. guys the sour cream is perfect with this torta it feels like they skimp out but no but once you bite it it kind of soaked into the bread and with the avocado it brings it out perfect mm. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow, guys. If you guys have a Taurino by your place, and you guys are looking for some great Mexican food, you guys will not be disappointed with this place. If you get their carne asada torta, carne asada burrito, or tacos, or carne asada sope, which I was going to get, but since we still got those donuts that we got to get into, I did it. You will not miss out, trust me. And they have one in Panorama City, Van Nuys, Chino, California, Southgate, California, La Puente, and Huntington Park. Make sure you guys check that ah, out. There's a bee. It's all good as night. I bite you. Our poke you. You <laughs> said bite. It's amazing, guys. I mean, look at this. Wow, the combination of the tomato, red onion, avocado, sour cream, and meat with this um, great bread is just so delicious. What would you call this bread in English, actually? Who knows? Sounds like a bolillo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. And with the beans, delicious. But what? Mm -hmm. But look at So I probably all no went meat. to me. It all went to me, guys. No meat. But the bolillo is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bread in this, guys, delicious. It's like buttery, huh? Yeah. Wow. And the beans, good too. Mm. 
I just got tomato and avocado. Mm. What do you mean? On this piece, I ain't got no beans. <laughs> and that piece, but you had beans on the other part. <laughs> and there are chata guys. If you guys want a good tasting or chata, this is a spot. It has a delicious or chata. Mm. Ready for the burrito. Which one's bigger? This one, look, you always give me out. Otherwise, you don't make it. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, now we're moving on to their burrito. Ah, actually, I forgot to show you guys the time, which wait, we've wait, been wait. recording for seven minutes, 5.33. We've been recording for seven minutes, so it's actually 5.26. And, guys, V will be right back. She's going to go get some avocado for us. Go, ah. babe, go. I always and he's back. All right, guys. So I had to go get some avocado because let me tell you guys, burrito with avocado is delicious. I usually get the avocado in the burrito, guys, but they charge you like five damn dollars or six dollars to add avocado, and they add a couple of skimmed out slices. I'd rather add my own avocado. And what is this? Uh, is this shoot. Anyone? Let me show. Let me show you how it looks. So this is how the burrito. <laughs> 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 Burrito looks. There's carne. Ah! Oh! <laughs> and we're gonna, gonna leave eat that, that for you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that. I already <laughs> I sanitized this. Oh, that, that <gasps> this is a lot of meat. That, that was a bunch of rice. It's got rice. Nah, all this meat feel. It got, it's got rice, beans, cilantro, green salsa, onions. <laughs> And carne asada, guys, and I always ask for it with extra meat. But yeah, guys, that's the tip of the day. Mm. Avocado, do your own, save yourself some money. Because <laughs> cheat is expensive, let Cheers. me tell you. <laughs> yeah, guys, just in this, it was like what? Like $40? Yeah. Cheers. But it's well worth it. It's delicious, guys. You won't. You can't go wrong with this one. Mmm. Mm. It's great, huh? Hell yeah. Mm, mm, mm. And this salsa is delicious. Yeah, and their salsas, guys, green or red, they're delicious. There's a. Uh... I look at that, guys. It's a beauty. <laughs> Thing of beauty. Oh man, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow, it's amazing. Looking good. Mm. I still cannot believe we forgot those strawberry stuffed donuts from the Pizza Man earlier too. Wow. But we went to their second location, guys. As I said, and that's where we got them from. It's amazing. Their second location is great, too. They had a lot of fresh uh, tiger tails. And those things look like I was about to buy another one. Mm -hmm. But don't think we forgot them. We still have those other donuts to go. And we are going to get back to them after this meal. We're almost done with this meal, too. And this was a hefty half of a burrito, huh? I think I could have done a whole. Nah. What I'm do you so guys hungry. think? I'm surprised you're not. That's why I'm like, nah. Mmm. I know you. Once you finish that, huh? and we go downstairs, guys, she's gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm feeling it now. <laughs> it could be. Let's see if she even makes it to those donuts, guys. <laughs> Because if we don't make it for whatever reason, if this I is whose fault it was. <laughs> if I don't make it, it means that I finished the whole bag of hot Cheetos. Nah, you I see bought. guys? <laughs> she shouldn't do that. The bag of hot Cheetos should be recorded in the nighttime after the donuts. That's mm -hmm. priority. But yeah, guys, we did have a couple beers. Um, we had some kettle, kettle, what are they? Kettle, kettle vinegar, salt and vinegar. Kettle chips? Yeah. Salt and vinegar, those are like one of my favorite chips. With the beers, they go so great. We had some bourbon, and I had a Modelo Talk Hat. Mm. Who's that beer? 
that we had over there in LA? White what? It was a uh, Avery White Belgium. That was good. Really good. Even these, the one we had? Yeah, we had some dogfish head, pumpkin, else. Oh man, they're seasonal and they're really smooth, guys. You barely get that hint of that pumpkin spice towards the end. It's really good. And guys, we're into IPAs a lot, so you know, that's the type of beers we like to drink. Here, do you have anything? What? And that was a piece of chicken in the lead, baby. <laughs> I give her the smallest pieces, guys, for everything. All the donuts, and you guys see. Mm -hmm. For the torta here, she got the small piece. And for the burrito here, we gave her the smaller piece. So I gave her that piece just to make sure we kind of make it easy. Nah, you know? nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, guys, we're all done here. I'm going to enjoy my horchata. So delicious, guys. Mm. If I still have some left, I want to taste that out with some donuts, guys. Some warm donuts, see how that tastes. But anyways, we're all done with this meal, so we'll be right back with the final portion of this video, which is going to be the last donuts that we just left from the donut man. Second donut man, because the, the only donut man around here is your boy. Peace. <laughs> right, guys, so we're back with the final portion of the donut section of this video, and here is the time. 648 and we are gonna get started guys with the triple chocolate cake donut which is devil's food cake and this is how it looks i did warm it up so chocolate's kind of melted Woo! chocolate sprinkles with chocolate glazing on top of a devil foods cake cake donut oh this looks good oh wow get it before it kind of falls apart oh. yeah cheers <laughs> Hot. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So you guys already know that I usually don't go for um, chocolate cake donuts that are chocolate gays. Just because they're always missing something, but this one it seemed like those chocolate sprinkles kind of gave it that finishing touch on it, huh? It was actually pretty good, guys. So I'm excited for this next one, which is a vanilla cake donut, chocolate glaze with coconut shreds over the top. Let's see how this one goes, guys. Oh, this is gonna be good. Mm. Cheers. Look, you lost some chocolate. We need it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Guys, beautiful. Wow. I mean, guys, it's like earlier. Their cake donuts are just nice, moist, and soft. Their chocolate glazing is actually good. And it had the right amount of coconut shred. So it just combined really well for me. Now we're gonna move it on to the glaze. Cruller, <laughs> which we don't usually get crullers, guys. But we wanted to taste this one there, just because they were barely done. I mean, and we didn't even taste it fresh because I was so thrown off in the morning. They're usually a bit more eggy, and it does kind of look like it has more egg actually. Cheers. I does not egg. Where? But it's a good cruller, guys. It's good, but it feels like I'm chewing. It's it. weird. There's like nothing though, huh? It's like so like I don't know if I would say airy. Because it's not airy, but it's just so soft, guys. It's weird. So I'm gonna warm up the next donut. I'll be right back with you guys. Be right back. And he's back. So we're back with the next batch and we're gonna get started here with their glazed raspberry filled donut. You guys already know how a regular glazed raspberry filled donut looks. And actually, their glaze looks like it sunk into the dough again. And it didn't look like that when we purchased it this morning, which is crazy. I guess that's what their glaze does. Man, look at my veins. Faster than usual. All those carbs, girl. Yes. Wow. What you want? Ooh, I look like at this, this one. one. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Cheers. 
Hey, cheers. <laughs> oh, look, and look how it looks, guys. The raspberry glaze looks amazing. Oh, my god. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love raspberries. That's my jam. <laughs> you like that? No pun intended. <laughs> the raspberry is really amazing, guys. Mm. That is great. And I already talked mm. about the yeasted donut, nice and soft. Now, guys, by no means are we a donut review channel. We just love cheat days. We record them. We love donuts. That's how we always get them. But I figure I describe these donuts to you because since I love donuts and I go to like a whole lot of different donut shops and I always look online on YouTube videos to see if anybody has talked about these donut shops or described the donuts that they sell. Some of these donut places don't even have their menu at hand and it's hard to find it sometimes. So I like to describe this so you guys can use it as a reference if you guys want to visit any of these donut shops. It works out. That's why I put it in the in the YouTube video name as well. Let's say somebody's going to the Donut Man. They just opened in LA. They want to go visit it. They type in the Donut Man. My video comes up and their selection. Almost every donut that they have, we got. Almost. And we actually said how they tasted, what they have. You know? So it works as reference, guys. Now, the only thing is... We are not gonna do this uh, cream cheese one, guys. This is a cream cheese raspberry one. Yeah. Because we did not like the cream cheese in it. And it's great tasting cream cheese, don't get us wrong. But cream cheese is just not our not thing our on thing. donuts. You know, and that's personal preference. That's just our and opinion. And it may be just the cream cheese that we don't like from this place. Maybe from another place we Maybe. don't like it. But I don't know. Like, we didn't like the filled donuts and now I do. Yeah, from some places they're really good. The raspberry. So we're gonna move on to the final one, which is an apple fritter. I ended up getting two guys because I didn't think they were gonna be this huge. But uh, I wasn't even gonna eat the second one. But V really wants to eat it, and it's actually a really great apple fritter. So we are going to enjoy this one. And it's so thick, it's ridiculous. I should have given you the bigger piece. Huh? Cheers. This is a bigger piece. No, oh, look at this, guys. And it's so hefty, guys. Like, this thing is heavy. Oh, yeah. Still amazing. Mm. Wow. Did you even warm it up? Yeah. It's still cold. Well, it's, it's fresh out here, actually. But it's good. Wow. It's still good. Second best apple fritter for sure. And actually, guys, it's really fighting for that first place spot for me. I don't know about you, but if it was just a bit thinner, so it could actually caramelize completely and not be so puffy in the middle, it would have been first place. But that puffiness is still really great in this apple fritter. And we don't really go for puffy apple fritters. So that's crazy. The only thing that throws me off is that the glaze completely comes off or came off something. Look, the, look it doesn't look like it, mm -mm. Um, it dissolved. Yeah, like I said right now with this raspberry one, that is one thing that I noticed too. The glaze, guys, it kind of just gets soaked into the donut itself. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it's just like there's no glazing there anymore. It like soaked into the donut but it's still really great so these donuts are definitely meant to eat, be eaten fresh and that's why probably they make such a small batch or sell a lot of the apple fritters and they don't remake them that's why they said you have you could you have to order them ahead of time if you're going to the one on route 66 if you're going to the one in uh, central market they open a little bit later like around 7 30 or 7 something like that I, I don't think, don't quote me on that because I, I don't really know their time that they open. But you could get the donuts from there fresh because they're making them right then and there in the morning. Which will be your best bet. That is it for today's video. I'm actually going to enjoy this piece downstairs because I am out of milk. I didn't think I was going to finish the whole cup. So I'm going to enjoy this piece. I'm going to eat it. 
Maybe. I mean, I am kind of full, but I am going to eat it downstairs with a little bit of milk. If you made it this far, thank you so much for keeping up with our channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Holla back at your boy. And your girl. For the next video. Peace. Peace.